I'm Sarah Emmett and I have ADHD. ADHD stands for Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. Now like most people, I have thoughts buzzing around my head all the time. It's very much like Trafalgar Square. Except with ADHD, it's really difficult to prioritise which thoughts should come first or which thoughts to focus on. It's usually the one that's most stimulating. So right now, stood here, it's definitely jumping on the lion. It can become a vicious circle with more and more ideas and thoughts presenting themselves as the most important until gridlock. Studies of the brains of people with ADHD show abnormalities in the right prefrontal cortex. That's the area responsible for self-control and attention. Research is now using technology to affect neurological changes to this region. By activating this, which is often less engaged in the brains of people with ADHD, researchers are hoping to improve concentration. Stimuli medication, interesting enough, also enhances the activity of this right frontal area. But stimuli medication has the problem that this that has side effects. People don't like the side effects, of course. And it, it has been longer term effects have not been shown. It works fantastically well for a year, but we've shown that the brain adapts to the drug. And that means when the brain adapts to the drug, the drug doesn't work anymore. Yeah. So that's why we want to find alternative brain therapies for ADHD. There are cognitive training apps, often known as brain training apps, that you can buy off the shelf, but none of them are proved to help with ADHD. But now pioneering new treatments are on the horizon. This is just to dampen the noise. Yep. yep. So I volunteered myself to act as a guinea pig to test out the exercises the experts are coming up with. The research being done here affects the plasticity of the brain, meaning the ability to change by reorganising itself and form new connections. One possible consequence is improved concentration and self-control. For the first experiment, I climbed into a brain imaging scanner that is calibrated to pick up the activity in the brain's right prefrontal cortex. The scanner is an MRI machine connected to a game that sends a rocketeer up into space. When my mind is focused on the area of the brain being scanned, the rocketeer goes up. The more I use that area of my brain, the higher he goes. So I'm enhancing my own brain activity. Ready for the brain simulation? Yeah. Next up, a different exercise to stimulate my brain. The difference is though that this is a double whammy. At the same time as gaming, my brain will also receive external stimulations through small electrical signals that are delivered via bristles at the side of a helmet I'll have to wear. But like any good scientific experiment, I had to do a before and an after test to see just how much my concentration had improved as a result of the exercise. So first, a baseline test to establish my current level of concentration. I feel like my brain's trying to find a pattern mm -hmm. and there isn't one. What was only a six minute test felt like an eternity. So I can only guess that my concentration on the before test is pretty appalling. <laughs> Now for the actual exercise. Using small electrical currents to stimulate my prefrontal cortex, I was put through my paces once again. Monk up, pirate. Monkey. Sorry, I'm really bashing the iPad, sorry. Okay. It's definitely fun and games. I just hope it's doing me some good. Very good. Very good. I've earned a medal. And now for the final test to establish whether my concentration has improved. Before the stimulation, you had almost 40% mistakes. Yeah. After the stimulation, you had only 25%. And on top of that, you were much faster. For me, the way I felt was really important. And I, and I didn't really mind how the data showed, but actually looking at it, I sort of feel really proud of myself. It's a huge Definitely difference. Definitely became much better. The neurofeedback, oh, like okay. the one you did with the Rocketeer, yeah. that we've done a, a pilot study and we found the effect lasts for one year. You're training the brain and, and of course it makes sense, it changes the brain and therefore it has a more lasting effect than an external pill, which you just, yeah. which is a positive thing. You give the pill, next day the effect is, is back. 